everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be sitting here and filming for you guys again. It feels like it's been a long time but I think it's only been a couple of weeks and that is because I have actually moved house. So I've moved to London with my boyfriend into a lovely little flat. You can see some of it here, the fireplace and our candle and our new home cards. If you do want to see any more of it let me know and I'll work on doing little snippets or maybe some kind of flat tour once it's all sorted that is because there's a lot of homeware and decoration everything to do first which brings me on to today's video which is a homeware haul so obviously the best thing I'm leaving home apart from you know living with your boyfriend that's pretty good is just furnishing it and going to Ikea which is basically the adult version of Disneyland there's some really cool stuff going on and I'm not going to bore you with towels and utensils and things that you won't really have any interest in but I will be showing you a few of the cute bits that I've picked up maybe as inspiration for your bedrooms or your little flats or whatever you're living in at the moment so I hope you enjoy. Kicking things off with Ikea because that place is pretty awesome. We have these dried flowers in this little vase. There's loads of really nice decorational things there and these were only about 65p each. I got three colours and then this vase which I think was about £1.99. Insanely good value and it really brightens up our coffee table, makes things a lot more homely and they don't need watering which is good for someone who still has quite a bit of growing up to do and you know looking after plants still a bit far in the future I think for my responsibility levels. Talking of looking after plants here's another one that is perfect for me because it's fake. This I think was four pounds I have no idea what plant it's actually supposed to be but I like it because it's green and spiky and sits on our alcove shelf things that we have next to the fireplace and then I got the ceramic pot for only one pound and this just really looks so lovely and it looks like it's summer all year round on our shelf and it just brings some green into the room which is nice because when you first move into a place it's often very cream, very white and it's nice to have a little bit of colour. It's also nice to have lots of little lights around new places because obviously when you move in you just have the overhead lights which can be a bit harsh. So this is one of my favourite purchases, it's £4 and it's just a paper lantern which kind of sits on our coffee table and it does give a good amount of light considering it was four pounds and it's just made of paper but I like that because we've gone for the whole shabby chic vibe which works well with things like this so that's really cute and definitely something you can pick up for your bedside table at such a good price Ooh. of course I'm also going to be having really nice makeup storage now I have my own place and this kind of kick started the new makeup storage buying this is just going to house my brushes. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much. A lot of bloggers have these pots. They're really cute with the frilly detailing at the top and such a great size to hold all of my brushes. I've kind of been squishing them in a pen pot and they're just a bit squashed in there. They need something a bit bigger and then I can actually find them, which will be nice. And this is going to sit on top of my new mom, mom, I think it's mom dresser, which I also got from my care. We did get some big pieces of furniture, but obviously that wouldn't work out so well in the shot. So when my makeup storage is all done, I will do a makeup storage collection video and you can see it all then. But this is lovely. And you can also put plants or pens or whatever else you want in there too. Something we picked up for the kitchen, which I actually thought was a bit more interesting than plates, was this bottle. And it's just a normal bottle. It's very strange describing homeware and not makeup. It is slightly less, you can't talk about pigmentation or colouring. It's kind of just, here's a bottle. It's made of glass. And you can pull the top off in this funky contraption. There we go. And this is great for just filling up with water and having on the dinner table when you've got friends around or when you're just kind of having dinner together. And it just means you don't have to get up and keep getting more water. And it also looks a bit rustic and a bit cottage chic. I keep kind of going to say cottage cheese when I say that, but cottage chic, which is another look that we're trying to go for in our new place. I think last but definitely not least from IKEA has to be this purchase, which makes me look like I'm about six years old. Meet Chedwig the pig. I really, really like Chedwig and he was in the kids section but I couldn't leave him there because my friend Rosie and Livy also have Chedwig and I bought another one for my friend Laura so we just all have these IKEA pigs and he's genuinely so cuddly. He sits on the sofa and he's so nice just to have a cuddle with and he's really, really soft 
and has a really cute face. So basically you're never too old for cuddly toys in my opinion. So I probably will be going back and picking up more stuffed toys next time I go. Moving on to a few bits from good old Primani. I'm really impressed by their homeware section because obviously it's really affordable and actually really lovely as well. You can get really nice bits just to make things a little bit more decorative, such as these lights, which were only six pounds, and they are LED heart lights, I think you can see there. They're kind of metal and they've got cut out wavy bits, so obviously the light comes through. I'm gonna wrap these around our headboard, intertwined, and then when you're kind of going to sleep, you can just have them on while you're reading, whatever, and then you can turn them off. I think that'll be really nice, and also nice when they're not lit as well, because sometimes fairy lights don't look very great when they're not actually lit up, but these will look really great on their own. One of my New Year's resolutions was to drink more water, and it hasn't gone so well so far, so I picked up these two water bottles as well, in a blue and a pink because they're really fun and I thought if I have fun things to drink water out of maybe I'll drink more of it. They're only £2.50 each and I'm going to have one at work and one here and just have it constantly filled up and just pretend I'm drinking milkshake or something to make myself drink more water. But I definitely recommend getting these because they have them in loads of colours and they have ones for your hot drinks as well. If you've ever been to a Primark homeware section you'll know they are very good at throws and blankets and so we have got a couple. This one is my favourite because it's like a duck egg blue and I'm trying to have, our flat is kind of grey and cream and then we're trying to have bits of mint and duck egg blue, that kind of colouring because our kitchen is actually mint green which is quite nice. So yes, we have this. This was, I think, £2.50 if you can believe it and it's quite big, it takes up the whole screen. And in the evenings, when things do get a little bit chilly, you can just pop this over you and also if you need an extra blanket in bed, we've got two of them on both sofas and I just tend to always be under one of these. They're very, very soft and they have them in loads of colours so definitely go and check those out. We got our duvet set itself from Debenhams and this one is what we got. It is a grey tartan on one side and there is a fluff ball and gingham on the other which is nice because if you get bored you can flip it over so we've got a few of these so we can keep swapping them in and out. £25, really great. I just think it's nice because I was slightly worried about me and my boyfriend finding a middle ground because I'm used to having pink flowers all over my duvets and he's, he's used to having like boy duvets that don't even have any pattern on at all so this is a nice kind of middle area that we're both happy with and again it goes with our whole grey cream colour scheme. I'm going to move on to a few bits for the kitchen which are actually more exciting than I thought and the first one is this cactus or cacti, I'm not sure but this has been sitting on our kitchen shelf and it's a cactus. I know that a lot of bloggers like cactus at the moment and I'm kind of up there with them, they look very funky, very low maintenance again which is good. This was from Wilco's, which is one of my new favourite places. There's so much stuff in Wilco's, it's like you get lost in there, they've even got makeup and all sorts. This was only about £2, I think. I feel like I should give it a name, I'm not sure if that's weird. So, this is my cacti. Cactus. Cactus. I think. And he's great, so I'll probably get some more of those. I also found these absolutely adorable heart bowls which I really love. I haven't even used them yet but I just thought eating my morning porridge, my morning berries and fruit or ice cream out of these would make me very happy and I did pick them up and go, oh darling, Instagram, how lovely would that be on Instagram? And he gave me a massive eye roll but that would look good on Instagram so you have to think about these things. So yes, they were fab and I think probably about £2 each so bit of a bargain as well. Since moving in I've tried to be slightly more of a domestic goddess, you know, not reaching too high there and I have started doing more baking and realised that we had no baking stuff so I bought the normal things, cupcake trays and things like that and then I got these really cute cupcake cases which are actually rubber so you can reuse them which is perfect because otherwise you just buy endless amounts of paper cases and I really like the candy colours, they look good kind of just out on the tops and everything so you can kind of use them for display purposes too and I've already made blueberry muffins in them which I think went pretty well considering I'm not a natural baker. They tasted good and all my friends ate them so I think that is a big thumbs up. As well as baking I'm trying to eat quite healthy but I don't want to be boring every night otherwise I'll just give up and reach for the chocolate. So I bought a few healthy cookbooks and this is one of my favourites and it's honestly healthy. 
uh, who's it by? Natasha Croat and Vicky Edgson. And this has been on a few different kind of health food blogs. I'm following them a lot more now, you know, Delicious the L. I'm all over her Instagram all the time. This is so nice. And I've bookmarked things that I want to make. So this is layered vegetable bake. It actually took me so long to realise this was actually a vegetarian cookbook. I didn't even notice because it all sounded so good that I didn't kind of miss the meat from it. Oh, that's a nut and berry layered breakfast, which looks very tasty. And oh, we made this chickpea and sweet potato stew. You can tell we made it because it has food splodges on it, which is a sign of a good cookbook. That was really good. So I definitely recommend kind of looking into getting some of these if you're trying to spice things up a bit, but stay on the healthy side. And they look really nice on the shelf as well. From Sainsbury's, I bought my Meg mug because I didn't feel like I had a Meg mug. I just felt like I had loads of random mugs that possibly my mum didn't really want anymore. And I, I've just had since about year 10. So I thought I would go for this minty duck eggy blue one again to go with the colour scheme. And it's nice and big. As I previously said, I have no time for small cups of tea at all. There's no point. I'll just have to keep going refilling it. Big mug, nice handle, nice colour, excellent stuff, good old say -nos. I also found a few bits that were nice for the kitchen back, that were kind of in my garage, um, in my home home, you know, where my parents live, and so it's kind of right to put them in this haul because they're kind of new, but anyway, I think they're cute, so I'm just going to show you. And the first thing I found was this chalkboard, and I, I have no idea where I got this from, I may even have... I don't know how I acquired this chalkboard, but it was in the garage and I brought it up here and we bought some chalk and each week we're going to write down what we're going to have for dinner on it because that's a really good way of just making sure you stick to a menu and just being quite organised, plus it looks really cute. I need to work on writing with the chalk though, it's really hard because it's just a weird shape, so please don't judge my handwriting, um, but that's what we had last week and this is very nice on our little kitchen fireplace. I also had this on our kitchen fireplace. It's Nutella and it says Meg that I got from Selfridges around Christmas time and I basically just haven't shown you guys so I had to put it in this video because it's one of my favourite things. I can't ever eat the Nutella though because then it won't look as good anymore so it's kind of for display purposes maybe one day I'll break into the Nutella but these are really cute. I don't know if you can get them anymore but it is National Nutella Day on the 5th of Feb so maybe they'll come out for that. And lastly for the kitchen I discovered my cat Kidson apron, which is the classic kind of china blue rose print. I won this in a raffle last year and put it straight in my garage and now I actually get to bring it out and wear it and try and pretend that I'm a little housey person, which is lovely. And this looks great hung on the door of the kitchen. The last thing I'm going to show you isn't strictly homeware, but I'm not really sure what other haul it's going to go in and I'm really excited about it. And it is a Project Life. It's huge, as you can see. Oh, there's my lights. Uh, Lily Pebbles inspired me to look into these and I got it from Hobbycraft. So I got the minty folder and then I got these cards that you put into the slots that you get inside, like this and you fill those and you put photos in and you put little memories in and tickets and all that kind of stuff. I was kind of just annoyed at myself for keeping all these special things and just throwing into a box and never looking at them. So I really wanted to document this year because my sister's having a baby, I've moved into this new place, you know, living kind of lots of new exciting life things this year. So I really, oh, that's my cactus. I really wanted to document them and be able to look back in December and see all the lovely things that have happened. And so yeah, I think it might seem a little bit expensive as a first investment, but I just got the folder and then I think the plastic wallets I got were just £6, I just got 12 of them to start with and the cards were £6 as well. You don't have to spend the hundreds of pounds that it says that you need to do to start off. Just start small and then obviously if you really love it and you're doing loads of scrapbooking then you can invest a bit more in it because you know it's going to be worth it. But I'm very, very excited to see what this will hold at the end of this year. So that's everything I'm going to show you in this homeware haul. I've probably missed loads of stuff out, but I think that's probably enough for now. And if you want to see more of these, obviously I'm just going to keep on purchasing things. So do let me know and I'll be sure to every time I have enough stuff, do another haul for you. And I really hope you've enjoyed it and it's not been too waffly. It's kind of weird getting back into the swing of filming. I'm just going to put my cactus up. 
So yes, I hope you are having a wonderful start to your 2015. We are now in February, thank goodness. January is just never good, no matter what happens in January. It's too cold and it's too depressing after Christmas. But now it's all about Valentine's and getting back into spring makeup. The pink lip came out today. That is a sure sign that spring is on its way. So I'm going to head off now and I'll be sure to actually film really regularly from now on to keep you guys updated and please let me know any videos you want to see in the comments below because I'll be sure to do those for you. So thanks so much for watching, please subscribe and do like this video if you liked it and check out my blog where I'm going to put pictures of all of these lovely bits and bobs that I've bought and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys!